Hey everyone, it's Sean Paul from Panda Labs. In today's video, we're going to answer one of our most frequently asked questions, and that is, how do cyber criminals insert malware into pirated software? Peer-to-peer -peer protocols and networks such as BitTorrent, Emule, and LimeWire are commonly used to spread malicious software bundled inside of application installers or cracks used to break licensing control systems. In our example, we won't actually pirate anything, but we'll show you how the process works and what happens when the binded malware runs on our test machine. So let's go ahead and start off by visiting the Winamp website. Okay, we're just going to take the official installer off of winamp.com and use that to bind it to our test trojan. Now that we have it on the desktop, let's take a look at inside the file properties to see the digital signature used. If we click on details, we can see that VeriSign is used to sign this installer. So let's go ahead and view the certificate. Okay, we see that the certificate was issued to Winamp by the AOL Certificate Authority, which ensures us that this is a valid Winamp installer. Okay, before we start, I want to show you guys the Bank of America website. As you can see, everything looks fine here, but pay attention to the online login area and we'll see how that changes later on. Now let's open the binder utility. A binder is a tool used by cyber criminals which will combine two or more executables into one executable. So let's go ahead and tell it to combine the Winamp installer with the Trojan. And to make it look official, let's give it an icon um, and we see we have various icons we can use here and we have Winamp right there so let's use that and right click and tell it to bind let's call it winamp.exe to make it look official and there we have it and this effectively binds the Winamp official installer with the uh, Trojan if we take a look at the properties, we see that there's no digital signature. Uh, so there's no way to verify that this is a legitimate installer. All right, let's go ahead and run the installer to see what happens. All right, everything looks fine. The Winamp installer starts. Let's go ahead and click Next and agree to the terms. All right, everything looks fine, Winamp installs. Let's go ahead and go back to the Bank of America website to see what has changed. Okay, we can see on the left hand side we're now being asked for the online ID, check card number and PIN number. Uh, and if you sign in, of course, the credentials are being sent to the cyber criminals. At this point, the cyber criminals would then upload the malicious executable to one or more peer to peer networks, and people all over the world would be infecting themselves without even knowing it. The obvious solution is to never pirate any software for any reason, and to at least verify the digital signature of any file that you would like to install in your system. That concludes today's video and until next time.